If you want to make beer just like this, our 10 and a half gallon modular brew system is the way to do it. We've used this system to make hazy IPAs, lagers, stouts, ciders, the world's darkest beer, and many, many more. In fact, I recently made a coconut IPA that was out of this world. And to all the beer purists out there, I sincerely apologize in advance. I'm eating my words from a recent video and I'm currently fermenting a Hawaiian fruit punch IPA because I guess that's just what the kids are drinking now. Let's go through what comes with the kit. First, it includes a 10 and a half gallon kettle. It's made out of thick food grade 304 stainless steel and has two half inch NPT ports as well as an inch and a half ferrule. These ports allow you to add any accessory you want that will connect to these fittings. And the kettle is embossed with gallon and liter liquid markers, making it really easy to tell exactly how much liquid's inside. The system comes with a removable grain basket, which is also made out of 304 stainless steel. The basket is a key element of single kettle brewing systems, and it's what separates a system like ours from the older three-tier brewing systems. The basket allows you to easily separate spent barley from the liquid after infusing it during the mash, making brewing quicker and much easier than it used to be. Our system comes with a hop basket as well. This hop silo is also made out of three or four stainless and is designed with a slightly less dense screen than the basket. This allows for a maximum transfer of hop flavor and aroma to your beer while also eliminating the likelihood that the hops will jam up your pump or your chiller. Because like the grain basket, it can also be removed. At the heart of the system is an electric controller, which is really where the magic happens. A temperature swing of just a few degrees can have a big impact on how your beer tastes, smells, and even feels in your mouth once it's done. There's gotta be a better way to say that. And one of the more difficult aspects of brewing is holding the precise temperatures. However, our controller makes that very easy. You can literally dial in any temperature you want and the PID will hold it right there for you. The component that actually provides the heat is what's called an ultra low watt density element. This means that it cranks out a ton of heat, but the power is actually spread over a larger surface area, eliminating the possibility of your grain getting scorched and your beer getting ruined. The controller even operates a pump, which comes with the brew system as well. Pumps are great because they allow you to recirculate wort during the mash, increasing efficiency. And the pump allows you to transfer liquid from one place to another without pouring or siphoning, which can be inefficient and messy. The system also comes standard with the plate chiller. We love these things for their efficiency and their simplicity. All you need to do is plumb some tap water into one end of the chiller using a standard garden hose, attach another garden hose to the other end of the chiller for a drain, plumb beer through the chiller using hoses and quick disconnect fittings that come with our system, and the magic of thermodynamics does the rest. The beer gets chilled down without ever mixing with the water. And I don't want to get into every last tiny little detail, but our system also comes with a bunch of little fittings and valves and stuff that just makes it work really, really well. We use our systems to brew all the time. And when we try out a new configuration that improves the experience, we add it to the kit. We've been doing this literally for years and the current version of our brewing equipment is the most dialed that it has ever been. A couple of my favorite most recent additions include a little 90 degree pickup tube that we've added to the inside of the kettle as well as a 90 degree fitting we've added to the top of the spray valve on the lid and a nifty little cord grip for the temperature probe. When you mix water and electricity, safety is always a concern, and we think ours is the most safe system on the market for two reasons. First, the controller is separate from the kettle, meaning that if you experience what's called a boil over and liquid comes pouring over the edge of the kettle, it's not going to flood the electronics, which would destroy them, first of all, but would also increase the likelihood of shock and potentially a fire. Instead, our controller is completely separate from the kettle, and the long cords allow you to place it as far as six feet away from the liquid. We're just mounted on a wall. Our controller also includes what's called a GFCI plug-in. This means that even if somehow liquid is spilled on the controller and it causes a short, the controller will automatically shut down. We also make a bunch of cool accessories for our system that can be picked up separately. A couple of my favorites are the Whirlpool Arm and the Counterflow Chiller, which allow you to brew super hoppy beers by bypassing the hop silo and directly pitching hops into the kettle without the risk of jamming up the system. We have stuff like stir plates and flasks for making yeast starters and much, much more. You can find all of this on our website and learn a little bit more about making beer. We have a ton of videos here on our YouTube channel. We have shorts on our Instagram in our TikTok pages, and we have a bunch of articles and recipes in the education tab on our website. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to call us or shoot us an email. You'll likely talk to Emmett, Sam, our warehouse manager, or me. We're looking forward to hearing from you, and we'll see you on the next one.